<laughs> That's what I like right there. That is just money. Good morning, YouTube. I have got a treat for you. It is the swing of my boyhood idol, Severiano Ballesteros. He was the man, okay? In 79, he won the British Open at 22 years old. But what may be even crazier was three years earlier, he came in second place to Johnny Miller in 1976. Guys, who is the last teenager to play second in a major? I, I don't even know how far back you have to go. But Seve was a prodigy. He was number one in the world for many years. Holds the record for the most wins in Europe, I still believe. And he was just cool as all get out, man. Seve, you know, when I was a kid, he was just the coolest golfer. And we didn't get to see him very often, you know, just the majors. And then he... We used to whip Europe in the Ryder Cup until Seve came along, and I believe Seve won five Ryder Cups. I mean, he was just the man. And what's crazier is earlier in his career, he had an over-the-top golf swing. You know, that was his natural swing. And I'm afraid it kind of got trained out of him. He started going to swing gurus in the 80s, you know, like a lot of people did, and he started to flatten out his plane and swing more around his shoulders instead of over and um and he still was Seve he always played great golf but I'll tell you the most important note about Seve that I've learned is probably that he said if he could see the flag whether he had a three wood or a pitching wedge he was trying to put the ball in the hole on every shot I mean he could be six under par kicking butt and then just hit a ball two fairways over but somehow he just never gave up and grinded like nobody i've ever seen and his short game is considered to be the best in the world i personally think Seve and tiger were the best short game players in history and the secret of it is all creativity now guys Seve had an over-the-top golf swing pick up the mse OTT Miracle Swing at MySwingEvolution.com. It's the bomb. Guys who've been having trouble pulling it, that's natural. I did it too. You'll find that you'll hit the crap out of it and compress it so hard. But if you're used to swinging out down the line, when you come over the top of it, you may compress it and pull the ball inside. So I'm working on a video for that for MSC TV, which is a great, great thing to get. Uh, probably even better than just the video itself because you get access to my entire library. The next MSC Intensive is May 28th and 29th. If you'd like to come on out, that's always an awesome time. And, uh, oh, I just got merch. I got my Swing Evolution caps and a couple different styles of polos at myswingevolution.com. So I'm wearing my Hogan outfit because I'm going to go play golf today. I hope you guys get to go play golf today, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the fine golf swings from one of my favorite golfers of all time, Severiano Ballesteros. These early swings, we can clearly see an inside over-the-top golf swing. But by the mid 80s, we can see that he starts to have a more on plane golf swing as he started to seek out instruction and improve his golf swing. I can't get over the fact that it seems like we lost a little bit of the swing genius that he had when he first came out on tour and won the 79, the 1980 Masters and 1983 Masters. So let's go back to 1976 here. We've got Seve Ballesteros in the British Open, 19 years old. He comes in second place with this golf swing. This is just beautiful. Takes it inside and up, and we see that classic OTT move. A lot of beautiful nat natural rhythm in this swing. A lot of speed and power. He was long. Like when he came out, he he took a cut at the ball that was 
was tremendous. So he really sets the club up early, slightly across the line, like so many golfers that I like. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Here we see his little lasso move where the club goes from being across the line to flattening out. It's a steeper arc in between the arms. He's not bringing it in along the, the right forearm. But my gosh, he came in second place. He almost won the British Open this year as a teenager. So let's take a look at this swing from 1979, the year Seve won his first major. And to me, this really looks fantastic. Wild camera angle. They are right up on him. Flying right elbow. Hands are high for leverage. Club across the line. We get a little lasso move there. And look at the OTT downward smash. That's the swashbuckler right there. That's my main man, Seve Ballesteros. Don't even mess with me. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, watch this OTT golf swing. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I like right there. That is just money. So once again, let me look at this transition. Let's see where the hand's in. They're going up. And the hands go out over the top so he can smash down on that ball gives me a little helicopter even for fun that's a great golf swing guys johnny miller just edged him out so here it is 12 years later you know it's certainly a more conventional looking golf swing that we're used to. I mean, it's Seve Ballesteros, you know, he played great golf, but he didn't have that swashbuckling flair anymore. I mean, it just, just didn't seem to have that the way he had when he first came out, that eye of the tiger kind of feeling. So let's look at both of these next to each other. The swing fingerprints are the same. This is 15 years difference. You know, the stance is very much the same. Actually, he's more on top of the balls of his feet uh, in the 1991 photograph. Okay, so let's take a look at these two swings side by side. Wow, that's beautiful to look at for sure. Looks like the swing on the left is a little bit faster. Now, if we look at this setup, I think we're going to notice that Seve is more into the balls of his feet on the right, and he's sitting back more in his heels on the left. I've talked a lot about my preference being a little bit on the heel side. Um, but that's just me. And Hogan said many times that he wanted to wait through the heels. So Seve's actually, I like the club on the right going back more to the inside. He always had an early vertical wrist set. But he's definitely bringing it more under in the later swing. I, I just like that that throwdown move on the left. Like can you guys you know notice how he loops the club and has that energy that he's throwing down and thumping down into the ball? I mean, it looks, you know, it's uh, it's kind of like, oh, look how pretty this swing looks on the right. 
but I don't think it's necessarily better. Yeah, now let's let's pay attention to the transition here. So Sevi is swinging more around his shoulders rather than throwing it down from over the top. I don't think the swing on the left is mature yet. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the best swing ever, but these are two great swings to compare. But I really feel that he's got more leverage on the swing on the left. You know, the swing on the right is more conventional. But, but I don't know. I you know, I feel this way about so many many golfers. You know that that we train the genius out of ourselves. Tiger Woods was was a freaking genius when he won the Masters by twelve strokes, and I'm not convinced that had he just kept playing like that, that he might not have more majors. I think he might. Um, there, there could be a psychological thing uh, when it comes to, you know, feeling like, oh, I've got a better swing now. I'm more confident. I mean, because he, he could, he's won golf tournaments with so many different golf swings. But um, there's something about this natural genius that when you start to tame it, you take the, the wildness out of it and, it, and you lose the, the magic. But anyway, I love Seve Ballesteros, a great, great champion from my youth. One of the greatest swingers of the club in history. So that's the genius of Seve Ballesteros. Let's just watch this amazing, amazing golfer do his thing. I think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff. On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me. Now hear me out. My swing is feeling effortless with power. Don't try to rebuild your swing if you're over the top. Learn to use it to your advantage. What do you notice about it? It's just easy. It's just easy. I don't have a whole bunch of thoughts. Just one. Just come inside. Hit down. Dropping it under causes pushes and hooks, and it almost ruined my back. When I started my swing evolution, I was a terrible golfer. Today, my channel has over 25 million views, and I even got to swing as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. Click the link below to experience your very own miracle. Transform your game at myswingevolution.com.